Y'all doing okay out there? All right, we're going to go ahead and start that council meeting. We're going to ask Councilwoman Harris, would she start off with our prayer, and Councilman Kroon with our pledge. Lord, we come before you this afternoon, oh God. Just want to thank you, Lord, for another day. Lord, you've been so good, you've been so kind. We give you glory this afternoon, oh God. Heavenly Father, you are welcome in this council meeting. Lord, you cover this place with your blood, fill it with your love. Lord, wrap it in your mercy, oh God. Give us that heart to run, that love that run from heart to heart and breast to breast, oh God. Lift every decision, oh God. We lift every decision up to you, God. Glory to your name, Jesus. We bless you today, God. We bless you today, God. We bless you today, God, for being in West Memphis, oh God. You cover West Memphis, oh God. Bind the devil on every end and cast him out of this city, oh God. Glory to your name, Jesus. And Lord, you bless our police officers. You bless our police officers. Bless the firemen, oh God, as they go in and out of the fires, oh God. And Lord, we make them safe on the street, oh God. Glory to your name, Jesus. As they walk the neighborhood and go through the neighborhood, oh God. You bind the devil, oh God. You bind the devil everywhere, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory this afternoon and we give you honor, oh God. Continue to bless our mayor and encourage him and lift him up, oh God. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you for the city of West Memphis. Look on our finance department, oh God. And let them continue to find money, God. Glory to your name, Jesus. This city continue to grow. Lord, let us flourish, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we thank you right now for this time and this opportunity, oh God. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Because it's in your name, oh God, that we live and move and have our being. And we thank you right now for your loving kindness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Remain standing and let's place the flag for the pledge, please. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, Mr. City Clerk, will you please call the roll? Mayor McClinton. Present. City Attorney Stevenson. Here. City Treasurer Souter. Here. Council Member Bruce. Here. Council Member Cat. Here. Council Member Kroon. Here. Council Member Harris. Here. Council Member Hope. Here. Council Member Hudson. Here. Council Member Muhammad. Council Member Muhammad. Council Member Monday. Here. Council Member Murray. Here. Council Member Wheelers. Here. Nine out of ten present. We have nine out of ten present, so we do have a quorum. Uh, I want you to go to your bid openings to 2020, 2022 payment pavement. Uh, marking project. Uh, will you all look at that? If you all fine with that, will you make a motion and refer it back to the proper department? Is this on the bid, Mayor? Yes. That's on the bid they got. That's I know it's a little bit in this. Okay. Yeah, on the bid. Uh, motion to refer back to administration for disposition. Okay. Is that second? Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It passes. Uh, I get a motion and second to approve the minutes of the so meeting. Moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? The minutes are approved. We had no old business, um, so we'll move down to new business, and we're going to ask the table that indefinitely. Can I get a motion and second to table 01? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's tabled indefinitely. All right. O2, Mr. City. Uh, first off, can I get a motion and second to read by Tyler only? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, Mr. Attorney. This is an ordinance waiving competitive bidding for the purchase of a specialized police vehicle and for other purposes. May I fall to suspend the rules and place it on the second reading? Get a motion and second. So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It's an ordinance waiving competitive bidding for the purchase of a specialized police vehicle and for other purposes. My father suspend the rules and place on this third and final reading. So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. 
Opposed? This is an ordinance waiving competitive bidding for the purchase of a specialized police vehicle and for other purposes. Uh, can I get a motion and second to approve? So moved. Second. In discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, that passes. Mr. Clerk, would you get that ordinance a number? Uh, the number is going to be 2612. 2612. That number is 2612. Um, doing permission request, um, let the record reflect that Councilwoman Muhammad had just made it. Permission request, I'm going to ask for a motion and second to add our charity given to the agenda. So moved. Okay. Was that, was that Councilwoman Hutchinson? All right. Uh, all in favor, aye. Uh, Opposed? It's added. Um, Councilman Holt? Yeah, I'd like to make a donation to the Westminster Church of Christ for the full amount of the that I have. Okay, so the added amount um, that we added last month was $1,146.20. So you all at least have that. Uh, some of you have more, so you can call me and get the balance. So he's going to be donating $1,146.20. Right. Were there anyone else that wanted to donate some of their charity funds? Motion to approve. Make it a second. Second. All in favor, aye. aye. Opposed? All right. Excuse me, who was that second? Council McKay was the first one. And Mr. Wayless. Okay. All right. That has been approved. We're going to move down the committee reports. We only have one. Uh, Councilor Woman Hutchison, would you give that report? Yes, sir. Um, each one, each person, council member, should have a handout. For the sake of time, I won't read uh, verbatim, but just the highlights of the AMP. Uh, West Memphis AMP met on August the 17th at 4 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to go to the financial reports. Jim Jackson showed the current finances through July. He stated that the finance department does not send over the entire budget, just any e expenditures. He reported the budget is at 22% as of now. <coughs> AMP commissioners stated that they would like to know where the additional revenue that has been collected since last July for the parks is from the new increase of the AMP tax. The commissioners also wanted to know if the park funding has yet been bonded out yet. Jim stated the finance department takes money quarterly and puts it in the parks department account. Commissioner Scott Ferguson made a motion to accept the financial report as presented. Commissioner Reinhardt seconded that motion. Under, fun under funding requests, um, Ms. Stacy Allen, which is a family member of Sergeant Drain Taylor of the Drain Taylor Hoover Memorial, made a funding request for $5,000. Um, this 5,000 would help generate funds for scholarships for local college students. After a brief Q&A, Commissioner Willis Monday made a motion to sponsor the event up to 2,000 on a reimbursement or direct billing agreement. Co Commissioner Melanie Hutchinson seconded that motion. You can look and see under old business, the Big River update. Uh, Dow McVean gave the commissioners an update. He stated that currently they have 2.2 million in CMAQ money committed from MPO. He reported that it requires a 20% match. He asked ANP to put up that match of 550,000. Both Dow and Paul agreed that the funds will not be needed for at least a year now. Again, uh, for sake of time, we can, I don't want to have to go uh, verbatim, verbatim, but if there are any questions concerning discussions or things that we've asked, if any um, council members, anyone wants to ask a direct question, and if it's not in this report, please feel free to do so. Moving on to the next page, the highlights from the West Memphis Festival. Jim Jackson reported that he will be having a meeting set for next week. 
Then we're moving on to the West Memphis Transit matter proposal. Amanda Hicks addressed the commissioners and passed out a breakdown of the CMAQ program funds and a letter about the matter transit proposal. She also explained that the money AMP would pay without the CMAQ money would be substantially more than previously discussed. She concluded by saying she just wanted to make sure that, that the commissioners were aware of what uh, the cost is and what the cost would be for the public as far as uh, the transit in West Memphis. ADA compliance audit, you can read there what Jim Jackson gave. Uh, his input shared that report with a contractor and we'll work on a budget to get that work done. Jim Jackson's truck reimbursement turned into an updated receipt. Jim Jackson turned in, I'm sorry, an updated receipt for repairs of his personal vehicle. Commissioner Shauna Reinhardt made a motion to reimburse for the total of $4,591.29 for his truck repair. Scott, Scott Ferguson seconded that motion and it was passed unanimously. New business, cash payout for state contests. You can read that, guys. Um, cash payout for rhythm and ribs contest was discussed. All this was under new business. Moving on, small restaurant grant program. Jim Jackson submitted an application for William Maxwell, the owner of Williams Barbecue. The commissioners were showed uh, the completed application, and Jim discussed items the business needed um, help with. Commissioner Willis Monday made a motion to approve up to 5000 in that grant. Melanie Hutchinson seconded that motion and it was passed unanimously. Going on to outdoor gravel grinder sponsorship, Jim Jackson presented a sponsor sponsorship request from Outdoors Inc. Grit and Grind Gravel, which will be held November 6, 2022. Uh, the request died on the floor for lack of a motion. Christmas decoration bids reported by Jim. Uh, the bid 59,850. Commissioner Scott Ferguson stated that next year he would like to see more than one bid submitted. After brief discussion, Commissioner Ferguson made a motion to accept the bid from Festive Designs that was passed unanimously. Uh, last Jim Jackson submitted a request for funding for a different model of a work truck. He requested a crew cab with a four-wheel drive, which would give more room than a single cab, which they currently have. With no more business, the meeting adjourned at 4.52, and that concludes a very lengthy report. I, I just wanted to uh, make sure I hit any highlights Yeah, I know you again. hit some highlights of it. Also, we're going to ask uh, uh, Mr. Jackson to come forward. He wanted to add something. Yes. And I want, Jim, would you uh, further elaborate on what you want to, them to bring as far as the park, on the park, uh, the park commission, about the money transition from the park commission? At, uh, you said you had talked to the, to, to uh, Tory at one time, but we need to bring the, the whole committee together so we can find out about that. Yes, sir. I think the question was, I had walked out of the room during that part of that meeting. Yeah. But if I understood right, uh, the chairman and uh, Dr. Ferguson was asking exactly where that uh, money is, is it, had the project been uh, financed, had it been bonded. Uh, and there was a questions that I couldn't answer. They asked. And, I, and we couldn't answer it either. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm telling right. Right. Whatever we need so to I do. I think the plan was to try to have a meeting, a uh, special meeting between A and P and uh, Tory and the mayor. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I want to bring it out right here. You know. Right. All right. Right. But what I, and, and I'll be happy to answer any other questions. That was a long meeting, and there were actually eight pages of minutes. Uh, that was a, a four page condensed, uh, Thank condensed you. version of it. Yeah. <laughs> But what I did want to talk about that I'm kind of excited over, uh, a couple of things. Um, we have a steak cook-off coming up a month from today, uh, Saturday, October 1st. 
and we've done that in the past, and that's a nice event. Uh, people come from all over for that, and uh, very competitive, very uh, uh, regulated by the State Cookers Association, and uh, it's, it's a good event. It does good for the city. But what I'm more excited about is more of a local event that we're going to have on the last Saturday in uh, October the 29th, and it's, uh, we're calling it Rhythm and Ribs, and it's going to be a Crittenden County only rib cooking competition. We're going to find out who cooks the best ribs in Crittenden County. And uh, we are, have our criteria in place on what will be judged, our entry fees, we're going to be reasonable. Uh, we'll have a $1,500 first prize for the best ribs in Crittenden County. We'll have some trophies. Uh, I haven't technically talked to the y'all or the mayor about this, but we want to have a perpetual uh, award in City Hall that the plaque can change every year to the 2022 uh, best ribs in Crittenden County and, and uh, have it where we're going in, uh, that comes to City Hall can see that and then have it where you can put a new plaque up every year. Uh, but that one, we'll have some music there, um, some food and some drink. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a really nice event. If we're going to have to limit it to 50 teams. I hope we have to limit it. That's the main thing I want to tell you about. It's exciting. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you, Jim. Right. What's there any other for A and P? All right. We had no other meet uh, other committees who have met. No, I just want to let everyone know that Ms. Torres, she put uh, on each one in front of each one of you the uh, update. I think it's updated through August, right? So in uh, she also emailed you all. Uh, some information as well because it's too big to just print out. So each one of you should have it, you know, in your email address. You did do that. It's actually through August. Uh, Mr. City Clerk, did you or the treasurer want to go through any of this? The treasurer, you want to highlight yeah, something? You want to? Uh, okay. Okay. I'm seeing the increase. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, we had new appointments. Uh, I'm going to call uh, Mr. Matthew Glass, and hopefully we get that vote for our new medical insurance for next year. Come forward. You did say 1.5, right? <laughs> so uh, what we did this year is, as you all know, last year we bid it out and we got a quote from every health insurance carrier that provides plans to groups of your size. And the cheapest bid that there was was a 7% increase from the year before, which is why we chose Cigna. I went to Cigna this year and said, hey, is there some way we can work something out? Their claims are really good. If we can get, you know, a rate hold, they said, well, let me take a look at it. So they came back to me and said, here's what we'll do. If you guys will stay with us, we'll do a 2% increase. So I went to Morgan White, which is the other plan, and told them the same thing. They said, no problem at all. We won't increase your rate at all. So you get a 1.9% rate increase uh, on that. So that's another thing that's going on is right now your claims are uh, significantly lower than what you paid in premiums. Now, there's about a month or two of those claims that are out there that haven't got into that. But I say that because the last time that we had Cigna, you guys got a rebate of somewhere around $300,000. So if, you can, if your claims continue to track like they are now, and Cigna's business in Arkansas continues to track like it is now, uh, then I would expect you guys to get a rebate. Obviously, you know, don't spend that money until you get it, but if everything goes on the way it is, uh, you should probably get a, should get a rebate. Uh, one of the things we won't know until it's all done, but you know, last year we gave employees that were 65 and over the opportunity to go off of the city's plan, enroll in Medicare, and then the city, at no cost to the individual, would pay um, a Medicare supplement for those people. I think we had around 15 people uh, that enrolled in that. Um, to my knowledge, nobody has had a problem 
with that. Like I said, I told you guys last year when you did this or whatever, my wife and my son are both disabled and they're both on that same plan. Um, it's, there's no better insurance. You can't buy for any amount of money insurance better than a Medicare plan with the uh, supplement on it. So uh, our goal talking with uh, Councilman Cat and Ms. Coleman was maybe we can have a meeting with those additional people that are 65 and older that are not on the plan. Maybe we can get a couple of, of people, uh, whether it be employee, council member, whoever, who is enrolled in the plan, speak to those people and say, hey, you know what? I was maybe skeptical of this at first, but I tried it and I haven't had any problems. So like I said, to my, to my knowledge, nobody has contacted me that was on that plan that's had a problem. So as, as you all can, can guess, folks 65 and older are your folks that start to incur lots of health care costs traditionally then it doesn't mean my 30 is not going to have a bad claim but you know that, that's I just have to think and I don't know so I'm just kind of saying this but I've got to think that's a big part of why your claims are as low as they are so any more people we can get on that uh, would be better and like I say your plan nothing will change as you've known it this year it'll be exactly the same You'll just keep operating like you are. You'll get a new card when it comes time, but everything will be exactly the same. There's no change to department heads don't have to have meetings, you know, that kind of stuff. It should be obviously a really easy transition. Were there any questions for Mr. Glass? The only thing is if they can look at how they can handle the script card, uh, I know it has some limitations, uh, okay. but if Cigna can handle a particular drug why can't we on the other side so if, if okay. they can kind of do some research and get back with us on what premiums might be for that okay. additional coverage okay uh, it may make some people feel a bit more comfortable okay so. I'll reach out to them well we sure like rebates and right. we all agree with this 1.5 1 point nine. Nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> trying to get them down a little more just playing but um, could I get a motion and second to approve this? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It's approved. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> I have two quick announcements. First of all, I want to announce uh, this Saturday, Sergeant uh, Taylor Hoover race. It's uh, the 5K run that they're going to do starting at the um, Worthing Park this Saturday. So definitely, I'll be out there running 1, 1K. Ain't no do 5K. But <laughs> <laughs> I see the treasurer said that he can do, he used to do what, 13. So I let him run them all. But definitely just wanted to make an announcement on that as well. As we're going to get a little more into this as we get ready to conclude. But we got a great group of young people here today. Our junior leadership uh, class today, Ms. Emily Scarborough. Hey. And all of y'all, we'll meet you all just in a minute before we conclude the council meeting. So, but there's a great group of young people from Proctor, Marion, but mostly West Memphis. So, thank you all for being here. All right, we have one sense of request. Uh, I never seen Miss Fanny Thomas come in. She never come in. She never. She never came in. Okay. I said we'll have six requests. You no, I just ahead. want to make one quick announcement. We, <clears throat> of course, Ms. Emily with the chamber, she's sitting back in the rear there. We will be having a veteran parade this year on November the 11th. Um, I just wanted to let everyone here know, just in case if you want to participate, uh, you can call Ms. Emily at the chamber, or you can call here, I guess, the city hall and uh, leave a message with you know, the clerk's office. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure that we uh, get you enrolled to participate. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Anyone had anything else? Today, you know, we had the opportunity to be up with my department heads to meet with these this group of young people who was amazing, had a lot of great ideals, and, and responded back. You had to talk them out a little bit, but they were definitely involved. So we want to thank you all. You all did some amazing. You all had an election today, right? But before we find out the results of that election, real quickly, can you start at the left? Just give us your name and where you're from. What part? I, know. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to find the war, the war area. Address. What's your address? What's your address? Uh, just, 
No, North Avalon, War 3. Uh, Jamiria, and I'm from West Memphis. It's like the Jamiria Hill Street 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 I know you too, but go ahead. I believe I failed to stop Two. Five. And I want to add something with her too. She has been definitely, when we had the summer jobs program, she is one of the reasons why I'm getting ready to start this student council thing with the students here. So she is one of the blame for that. <laughs> The ridge, that's two, right? Two. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's three. Three. Four. Mm -hmm. Two. That's two, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Y'all look just alike for some reason. <laughs> uh, they twins, I'm saying. Boy, West Boy, that's uh, three. three. Mm -hmm. Miss I keep missing the young ladies. Oh, she had to go. Oh, she had to go, okay. Well, West Memphis, but most of them that live in West Memphis, this is our future, our junior leadership, so. I recognize them. But, but today they, uh, they had an election, and, and, and who is going to announce who the mayor was? Uh, I'll announce myself. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. All right, so I want you to do me a favor. I want you to come to my seat, and many of the other West Memphians, whatever wars, that's War 5, War, no, that's War 4, War 5, War 3, War 1. You all come take a seat. We need to see the attorney, we need to see the treasurer, and we need to see the clerk. So y'all come and get it. Four. War 4. I like this Okay. 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 Well, let me get started. They get they get say no. <laughs> I tell you, when I first started talking to them this morning, I told them, I said that they truly makes up just 50% of our population right now, but they are 100% of our future. And West Memphis future, you know, I feel it's real bright. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to the mayor. And thank you for letting me have a job for a little more time. <laughs> Go ahead. Is there any other business we need to discuss? So moot. Second. <laughs> <laughs> you all said no. Go ahead. Is there any other business we need to discuss? No. no. Hearing none, can I have a motion? 
second. 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 To adjourn. In a second to adjourn. So move. Second. All second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed? No. <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs>